This is Sasie, a small, out-of-the-way village in southwest Haiti. That's eight-year-old Esteli Sempre. Every day, he makes his way down a muddy, slippery trail to get water for his family. For us to drink, for us to cook, for us to live. Esteli's sister, Shildreen, helps with the water. This slim 14-year-old carries a five-gallon bucket. I have difficulty holding it up and walking, so I don't know how she does it. I just put it on my leg, then lift it up to my head. Esteli and Shildreen are just two of seven kids in the Sempre family. And then there's mom and dad. He grows and sells produce. She stays at home to mind the children. When I asked them if they liked having so many kids, no. she said no, and he said yes. All nine live and sleep here in this tiny one-room home. The entire family is up at sunrise. Between getting water, bathing, getting dressed and ready for school, plus having breakfast, there's a lot of activity. I am going to take a shower, then wash the dishes and do my chores around the house before I go to school. But school in Sassie isn't free, so coming up with tuition times five for the school-aged children isn't easy. There's no work, there's nothing. You struggle to put the kids in school. It's an investment towards their future. I want the kids to learn at school so in the future they can take care of me like I did for them. Now the Sempre kids are off to school. It's a 40-minute walk, but they're happy to do it because in the classroom there's no water to carry and no chores to be done. It's a place where finally they can just be kids. In high definition, Marley Hall, Voom, HD News, Sassier, Haiti.